I'm very excited today because today I am at Wentworth Garden Centre, one of the nicest garden centres near where I live. So I've driven about 45 minutes to get here. Absolutely massive garden centre. Just take a look at the car park and how big it is. So this is the car park. That's one end of it. It goes all the way back there and then comes all the way round there. And in the garden centre, it's down there at the bottom somewhere. So absolutely massive place. So hopefully they're gonna have a nice big house plant section. So it looks like they've got a small a selection of smaller plants here. They've got some calafers down here. Little calafers, $2.99. Nice and healthy. I've got one of them, Makayana. On my mantelpiece and my fireplace mantelpiece in my dining room. A few petunias. $2.99. I like the colours on the leaves on that. That one looks quite nice. More calafellas. Pepperonians, Pepperonia Bambino, $2.99. Platycernum Blufficatum. Not sure what that is. So many Ficus Benjamin, that's one of the smallest ones I've seen for sale, $2.99. Saxifraga variegata. It's quite cute. Then we've got some Tradescanias. These are purple passions. Quite a full plum. Again, $2.99. Peperomia obtusifolia, variegated. Cute little plant. Try to scan to your tricolour, that'll grow really quickly. Recommend that plant, really nice, easy to propagate. So that's some more Fetonias. Skeleton, that's quite cute. Really a nice colour on that. $2.99 again. Some more Peperomias, this a Rosso, Capo Rosso. Yep, that's quite healthy. Nolina Bushy, Nolna Bushy. Looks like a Birkin. That's big Birkin, or Philodendron White Wave, they're calling it. 15 pounds. A little bit of damage on that leaf. It's un unstable, the variegation is. Capsus agraeus, argureus, Scutatus pictus, six pounds, quite cheap. Got like the pattern on the leaves. These are starting to lose their variegation, the white waves. Alocasia poly. 16 pounds, or an elephant here, I've got one of these. Devil's Ivy, 16 pounds. Going on a moss pole, it's quite a good value for money. And Sterad and Sonai. Here we've got a very large Tradescania teddy bear vine. That's a very rigorous grower, this one. Can't find the price on it. Mass 
of Bird of Paradise, 40 quid really. Looks nice and healthy. Good price for that. Deep green. Imperial red philodendron, 14 pounds. Used to have one of those. Got a bit unruly though. Oh, that's a nice Syngonium. Syngonium neon for 25 pounds. Really nice. down here for 20 pounds for your carnos the crimson queen really nice variegation in the leaves what's this streptocarpus pretty turtle oh, really nice 20 pounds very light leaves See where it gets the name. What's this growing up here? Philodendron Silver Queen. Wow, look at that. £23. That's lovely. Put it down so we can see it a bit better. Cheap. Look at the leaves. Very silvery, that's where it gets the name. Cheap here. Philodendron green up on off the moss, moss pole. Twenty-one pounds. So one of those syngoniums, neon. Twenty-five. Ivy down there. pounds nice and cheap as they always are different back years I've got one of these at home six quid they're cheap really what's this Aglionema tigers really like that 14 pounds it's beautiful might buy that Nice looking plant. Larger death and back here. I've got that one, a smaller version. Only £13 for that. In a, it doesn't say the pot size. It's quite a large pot there. I don't know why these are so cheap. Some Anthuriums, red ones. Really nice colour on the flowers. How much is that? £12. Hmm. And Femium White Champion. So I guess they're green at the moment, but they'll come out white in a larger pot, £20. What's this? Shadera Lizopia. For six quid. Not seen that before. This looks nice. Aglonema Cutlass. Very nice leaves. T 
sweet grass, aglaonim, beautiful plant. It's only 14 pounds. Some peace lilies. They always sell them with the flowers coming out. Lots coming through. Don't shut them out when they stop. They're all reflowered. It does take a while though. Some spider plants here. Nice full one. Got babies coming. It's flowering as well by the looks of it. That's 12 pounds. Nice plant that. It's the Dracaena section. 28 pounds for one of those. pounds for a little one. Looks all right. Variegated one. 13 pounds, sounds like a good price. Quite cheap in here really. Look at these. Are these Calafeas? Calafea croquants are flowering. Seen a flowering calafea before. Lovely. Let's get a price. 15 pounds. Wonder if that'll get crispy edges. Ooh. Ficus altissima. That is one of my wish list plants. Weird. Leaves look a little bit ropey. Mm. Come back to that maybe. More kind of fires, nine pounds. Pound Calafea, Lancifolia. Nice pattern on the leaves. Some more ju Juicifolias. Ten pound for quite a large plant. Is this a begonia? No. St. Paulia in Spectra, sleeve paper. I don't know what that is. Five pounds. Hydrangeas. Ten pounds, quite good. Got a massive monstera there at the back. Massive leaves. It's a type of fern, a very delicate fern. I think these get, tend to get crispy and die off because they're so delicate. Eight pounds. Maiden hair fern. Few yellow Bromley lads at the back. Twelve pounds. Got a puddle of water in the middle there. What's this? Madania Loriforum's Bright Star. Pounds, quite interesting plant. Another fern here, eight pounds. This one looks quite nice. Is that a fern? Flebodium blue star, eight pounds. Oh, big plant for eight pounds. Lots of rare plants here. I've not seen this one. What's this one? Cordelina fruit kiwi. Kiwi plant. 
How much was that? 20 quid. Got a half price section here. It's a jade. 50% off, 14 pound originally, seven pounds. Doesn't seem much wrong with it. It's another type of jade there. Area there, look a bit crispy actually. Orchid, is it? Cambria. Spent flowers. More orchids. Yellow, purple, and white. Colin could kill this. Yeah. Beautiful. Especially these yellow ones. I've not seen these before. How much are they? How much are they? Thirteen pounds. £13 for one of them. Very nice. Got lots of Calafeas here. Another different back here. These Calafeas suck you in, how beautiful they are, but when you get them home, they tend to go crispy very quickly. But I reckon that would go crispy in no time, the edges or the leaves. No, it's the, it's the ceiling. Kind of I've got one of these. Fussiest part I've ever owned. That will go crispy in no time. It loves yeah. high humidity. Massive Monstera. More orchids. seen this before or heard of it if you know what it is let me know in the comments that's it there 13 pounds looks like a dracaena stroke snake plant stroke spider plant speaking of snake plants 13 pounds variegated one i've got one of those at home and then we've got umbrella trees. I bet these are cheap, because they always are. 30 pounds for that nice big tree there. It's got three stems coming out of the soil, variegated. Very cheap for the size of the plant. What's that at the back? 50 quid for a Kentia pile. Looks nice, nice and healthy. I'm getting attacked by hanging trees here, hanging plants. Croton. Eighteen quid. Had one of these once. I think it got spider mites and died. Didn't know it had spider mites until it was too late. And finally saw some webbing. So I think they are susceptible, so be careful. 18 quid though, they are quite cheap. Some more variegated umbrellas. Schefflera arbicola. That looks nice. Nine pounds, so cheap. Might buy that. Nice variegation on that one. Got a larger ficus benjamina for 13 quid. And then a ZZ plant, how much is that? 15 quid, it's nice and cheap. Nice and healthy. And we've got all types of ferns down here. That's this. Very pretty plant. Look at those rhizomes. So there's a rhizome with all these leaves coming out of it. Interesting, eight pounds, quite a good value. 
and how to look after it. More ferns. So this large monster is 70 pounds. Quite good value, really. Such a large plant. String of beads. 22 quid. Type of begonia at the back, is it? Doesn't have a pass, so I don't want to destroy it by trying to find it. Nice pattern on the leaves. What's this one? I've not seen this type of colour fair before. Pinstripe, 10 pounds. Very nice leaves. Well, I like the look of one of these. Tigra is ugly anima. Got fresh growth coming out. One's going to be the best. I think I'll get that one. Looks nice, that. I might stick it in that pot. So I nearly missed out. This section here, all the uh, succulents. I've made my purchase there of the Aglionema. Really happy with that, nicely packaged. But let's have a look at these succulents. What have we got? That one catches my eye straight away. That Echeveria flowering with red flowers. That is eight pounds. We put the uh, succulents in the sand, quite interesting. Type of cacti. Flowering cactus and cut terracotta, four or five pounds. Really like that echeveria. Grapto petalum tacitus. Oh, that looks nice as well. That's your ca classic cactus. Not a, not a cactus magnificus. Pink Lips, Anocamsaurus. Nice and pretty. Got loads here. I don't want to get my hands in there in case I get stung. That's 12 pounds for one of them. J plant, 20 pounds in the middle. Well, medium size actually. This one looks interesting. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Look at those large ones at the back. Let's go and have a look at them. How much is that? That is 40 pounds. Really like the look of that. Massive. That's 15 pounds reduced. Quite a good value. Aloe vera's. Eight pounds. Little mix of cactus. Oops. That is 12 pounds. Got a flowering echeveria. You can see there, very pretty. All right then guys, so that'll do it for this shopping trip at Wentworth Garden Centre. Absolutely massive place, really interesting houseplant section. Lots of plants I've not seen before, such as this Aglionema tigres. So if you haven't already, check out my Dobby's trip video. I'll link to it on the screen. I'll see you there and thank you very much for watching.